All right, it is day 18 of Flobathon Subathon 2024 for your April 20th, 2024. And we're, we were at 10 hours, but now we're at 11 hours, 10 minutes and 35 seconds, which are continuing to count down now. We left off at 60,314.57 megabytes. That's what she says. Timer go up. <laughs> that's that's funny. If you can time it right, if you can time it right, that's very funny. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. Have you got your woofs ready? Woof, Wolfie's ready. Let's... Continue on. Oh, God, I'm like, that tree's on fire. No, it's the flame. <laughs> it's just the normal torch flame that's a block away from where it should be. Um, Get rid of that. And continue west towards the far lands. It did, it also seemed dark, but that's because we made our hidey hole like in a in a cave. Sort of. It's fine. It's bright. It's bright and fine. Oh, and we need pigs, I guess. Oi. I don't know if that pig dropped anything. He does not appear to have. That's a shame. So yes, day 18, I took another day off yesterday, where I was back in the garage working on the Datsun, without streaming, obviously, <laughs> since that was a point of frustration as well. <laughs> How'd it go? It was going fine until a time. But ZK pointed out from the video, and I also felt in working on the car the last time, that I need to replace those very ball joints, the lower ball joints on the front end that I was trying not to have to replace. Oh, I don't know why I had Wolfie kill that sheep. I just, I was in pig mode. Um... I have to replace them, because they're all wore out. They might have been wore out beforehand. Um, like the boot. What is wrong with me today? The boot was not even there anymore. There's like a rubber boot that like covers and protects the ball joint connecting the strut to the suspension. And it, 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 it had vanished. It was not there. Um, so that basically means I, I'm fully disassembling the front suspension. <laughs> which would have made uninstalling and installing the steering rack easier. But that's neither here nor there. Um, the first one came out fine. Some very stuck bolts. Spooky stuck bolts that are covered in grease. But I got the first one out fine. And I I got a ball joint popper. The one that ZK recommended from Harbor Freight. And that popped fine. But then I decided, well, while I'm here and while I am, like, cognizant of the procedure, let's do the other one, too. 
So I started on the other one. And while... While the shock tower is still attached at the top, I took the bottom out to get the ball joint out. No, not a ball joint press. A ball joint popper. Uh, it, it's just a fork that goes when you do a screw. When you do a screw, you do a... Um, not a pickle fork either. I've got pickle forks. But anyway, so the second one... Cucumber fork. <laughs> Pre-pickled. That's what she says. Picklefork.com. Picklefork.com. Um, so yeah. When you when you get the ball joint out, it like pops with the with the fork thing. So I screw the I screw the little nut back on slightly, just so it doesn't pop and go flying across the garage. So I did that. I should have known, because I heard an initial pop that wasn't the pop. But then I popped. But then the nut wouldn't come off. So it was stuck. And that's the only way I could separate the parts. Um, because as I tried to un undo the nut, the ball was just rotating. In, in 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 its socket. Um, and I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to do this because it, it's all greasy. Oh. <laughs> I, I just got to swallow the nut. I almost swallowed that nut. <laughs> uh, vice grips. I had vice grips. The problem is there's nothing but a smooth shaft that's covered in grease to grip onto. And that wasn't helping. It was... It, it, it basically... Like, got cross-threaded. On there. That initial pop was, I think, some of the threads popping. Um, but then the girlfriend got home in the midst of this, and I... Oh, 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 oh let's not go there. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a spooky place. Yes, we got out the angle grinder. And I posted pictures on my Instagram reels or whatever the hell they're called. But yes, we had to angle grind the nut. <laughs> uh, the girlfriend commanded the angle grinder and I held it with a C-clamp. And we got uh, at it far enough on both sides that the five pound sledgehammer that power sent us was able to knock it loose. Of course we had to do all that without damaging the steering knuckle that it was attached to because that's the one piece I'm reusing. Um, and also without starting a fire. But we did it in the front yard. We did it in the front yard. That's what I, I need a, I need a workbench, first of all, with a vice on it, <laughs> so that I can, like, vice things so that I don't have to have somebody hold them with their hands. <laughs> um, so we did it. The girlfriend came to the rescue. Um... Remember, remember those safety glasses I was wearing in the garage? They were kind of big and round and they were like orange or something like that. I'm like, oh, these are the girlfriend's safety glasses, but they're the only ones I can find right now. Well, I was also wearing those yesterday. As, as we were angle grinding. And the girlfriend had the whole face shield I gave her. Turns out those aren't safety glasses. <laughs> They, uh, they, they, they were not safety glasses at all. They were, they were simply fashion glasses. And, and the girlfriend did not tell me until after we were finished. Oh so yeah, 
I've definitely used those many times in the garage. There were the illusion of safety glasses, yes. Um, I have safety glasses, but I think the girlfriend took them for school. The thing is, is she she was I saw her wearing those glasses when she was sanding with the angle grinder the deck to refinish the deck, and then they somehow ended up in the garage, and I figured, oh, these must be safety glasses, and they're right here. I don't know where my safety glasses are. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure I've I've worn them on a garage stream. At some point, being like safety third, it was definitely safety third. I mean, I still have eyes. Vice grips with hot glue on the jaws. Well, the pro- I, I don't think anything would have worked. Because it was all greasy. <laughs> like, I could have tried to, like, rinse all the grease off. But even then, it was probably just more convenient to do what we did and just blast them. Mirador! With an angle grinder. Where we're going, we don't need eyes. Alright, let's elevate this hidey hole. Oh, that's not right. But what are the next steps? Everything? <laughs> like, still everything? Those sheep just spawned. Well, basically, now that I have the suspension completely apart, I'm going to replace the... I don't know what it's called. Stabilizer bar pushing. I also have the lower control arm. I purchased the bushings. And now that it's there not connected to anything, I might as well replace them, but those are the most pain in the ass thing to do. I've seen and heard, like those are the bushings that you have to like blowtorch out and like melt the rubber in order to get them out. But I have them and it's a part and it's there and, and that was the that was the thing. That was the thing I was wondering. Like what it does it do shops have just like could I go in and, and to a, a a a mechanic place and be like could you just take these out <laughs> completely? I don't even think I need anything special to put them back together. Maybe I do. Maybe I should have them press them back in. The new ones in. Mom and pop shops are great for that. Hmm. I don't know if I have any mom and pop shops. I'll have to Google around. I mean, otherwise I'm going to have to purchase a blowtorch. <laughs> Thanks for letting me sit in. Ain't nothing to it. Kurt Willie replaced the Ford bushings. Ah, <laughs> uh, bushings. I'm also very strongly resisting to ur the urge to clean all these parts. Because then, yes, I could clean them, and then I could, like, scrape off all the rust, but then I should, like, sand them down and repaint them, and it I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I just want the car to be back together.
that sounds much like too much work. And then I'll have these nice clean parts that don't match the crud and grease covered rest of the car. I always clean and wire wheel. I don't have a wire wheel! I need a vice. I need a wire wheel. I should probably have the vice for the wire wheeling. <laughs> Lest I just hold it <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> oh, this part's turning red. Cone was upset that I made him paint the suspension for Jesse, <laughs> right? I don't know if I want to bother. <laughs> it's. Uh... You know, the girlfriend, now that she knows you can do suspension work, she's going to demand you put monster truck suspension on the hearse. She's been, even before I started this process and complaining the entire way, she's like, well, now we can, it's easy peasy. We can lift the hearse. Like this, look at all the problems I'm having, and all of these parts are designed specifically for this car, allegedly. Imagine trying to do that with parts for a car that don't exist. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. That's as far as I got. I did get the full the suspension we were working on. I took the full shock tower out. And I, like, assembled it with the spring and everything like that. So now, instead of trying to force it under the fender into the, where it needs to go, I can just put it under there, connect the nuts, and then put the new ball joint underneath. That's a question. I don't know. I mean, I suppose it'll be easier when it's on the car. I don't know what torque to put on the ball joint. Like, do I need to pop it in? <laughs> Does it need to be popped in? But then I feel like if I screw it in too far, it's too far to where the... Uh, cotter pin, you know, goes through. But yeah, I don't know, like, what... how far... I just have it, like, hand on there just to hold it together. Specs per thread size. Yeah, I'm sure I can. I just never. It was just. It's just weird the way it looks. Like there's the stud and and the nut, but like also there's the hole for the cotter pin, and like if the nut goes too far, then that's. Kind of pointless, it doesn't go through the crown. Castle, sorry, castle. I call it a crown nut, but castle oh. nut.
Oh, am I going the right way? Yes. It'll be fine. And then also, it didn't come with the grease nipple. <laughs> it came with the grease nipple, just not installed, so I'm assuming that means I need to add my own grease. I should just look at what I bought again. <laughs> It says, like, pre-greased or not. I have a lot of cotter pins. The, honestly, some of them are starting to rust. <laughs> Although, the kit came with cotter pins, the, the replacement ball joints, so I'm, I'm good. See, we've been walking to the far lands and we've barely made any we've just we've already adapted to the new jitter. It's downright forgettable even. He's doing fine. Not having any sand duplications. Got our first spawner over here. Or maybe it's another lava lake. Oh, I think it was another Jittering, lava lake. Jittery jitter. Yeah, I think I see obsidian down there. All right. This jitter rocks. I forgot. I I uploaded the the fifteenth day the the, the the day fifteen stream. I forgot that we also found a golden apple that same episode. Or that same day, rather. It was meant to be... Yeah, that's obsidian. Interesting. Very interesting, Wolfie. It was. Because it was very early on the same day. Because we named it the, the the golden apple of imminent floating point pointiness. There's more lava. It is geologically active around these here parts. The floating point. It's te plate tectonics.
Yeah, that was yesterday's activities. Oof. And this morning, because it was so nice, I was watering everything in the garden. Blanket time. <laughs> maybe I just, instead of the electric blanket, maybe I should just get like a regular ass blanket. Maybe, maybe all my heat comes out of, goes out of my legs. Goes out of my ass. And a bowl of Werther's Originals. Gross. Electric boots. They make those. They make like... Well, they make like those foot massagers that are like warmed. But I'm pretty sure they also make heated slippers. That's weird. An SCD? Sequential compression devices? Are those like those pants that are filled with water? <laughs> are we thinking of the same thing? Oh! That's going to surprise me every time. Filled with air to compress your legs. Well, I don't need my legs to be compressed. I need my leg legs to be warmthed. I should not have come here. <laughs> Instead of air, can you use hot chocolate? Mushroom hot chocolate. noises. Okay. Full of health. Full of beans. Bye to you too. Oh, doubt I have a boat. Dang it. All right. Well, I guess I'll make the. I'm just now noticing. Maybe the words are behind the objects I'm holding. Maybe that's like a thing that always was. I mean, I knew they, were, they go behind me. That I remember. But I never... Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't, don't notice. Ah, well. <laughs> we're, not here, we're not here to... 
question our grasp on reality of what was, is, or shall come to pass. Mm. Oh, you dingus. You're telling me I'm stuck here? With you? No. I'm stuck here with you. Believe me, a far worse fate. Hello, winking face. Hello, winking face. Droomal. Dromal? Dromal. Thank you for 90 months in the subtub. 90 frickin' months. Much appreciated. Subtub? level gets the another dimensional order? Eight years? This is what, like 90, 96 months? 98 months? Why take damage? Torches, torches, torches. Ooh, side sleeper. Torches, torches, torches. Indeed. Indeed, Uncle Scientists. <laughs> That's a big Lorgon right there. Now this is a spawner. First first spawner of this. Jitter threshold. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> it's fine. It's not a problem at all. Okay. Where is this block? There it is. Get out of my way. He's done it. Mm. 
Ooh. Gotta make sure it's safe. It's not safe! I had a feeling. I like felt like I shouldn't take anything out of this chest. This might be cursed. <sighs> That's a shame. That's a damn shame. All right, as you were. Hey, dinguses. Golden records are cursed. We don't take them or anything from... a spawner that has them. For reasons. Now we got a boat. What's this a boat? I mean, we did blow up one, didn't we? But we still didn't take anything. We just rearranged. <laughs> we just rearranged the contents of the dungeon. Excuse me. How we doing today? How we doing? Oh, I knew there was fuck up there. Everybody always asks how we doing, but not where we doing. Doing all right. I have a headache. And it's probably because of the pressure change. Under pressure. An active atmosphere. You started building a guitar. Like a like a acoustic guitar or like an electric guitar? Mech took a day trip to the Oregon coast. Hopefully, it didn't get rained on. He did. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh...
Does an electric guitar need to be built with acoustics in mind? Like, does the shape of the guitar determine anything? Or does that not matter with an electric guitar? Doesn't matter. I mean, I guess there are some wackily designed electric guitars. Although I wonder if, like, the type of wood or material might change or induce different vibrations. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's got to be something. I mean, I guess there are, like, certain types of electric guitar. Like, acoustic electrics, where, like, that matters. Or, like, the Gibson style. I know nothing, by the way, about electric guitars. I know the name Gibson and Fender. If it can shoot flames. Hmm, well that's neat. I mean, I've got a wood planer now, maybe I should start making electric guitars. <laughs> building the old frames for my plants that I keep saying I'm going to build and accumulate wood. It's a double-decker uh, lake. That's what these are called. Lake. Hold on. I have to... Oh, damn, does it actually, like, go underneath the lake? Oh, Wolfie, what are you doing? You dingus. Does it? Oh. Ow, I just did the same thing Wolfie did. Aha! I was gonna, like, connect them, but I could just do this. <laughs> I think it's neat. Blub, 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 blub. Oh, nope, can't do that. Gonna, gonna drown. Oh, that, that was a single block breaker. Neat. Domo arrogato, is that a grotto? beans. I like that that is a thing I did. It's man-made, yes, but it could have been nature-made. Just like my cranberries. Nature-made. 
What does Nature Maid make? <laughs> Granola bars? Juice? Supplements? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Vi vitamins. I knew I knew. I knew I knew that that word before. I haven't taken any screenshots. Gotta have a thumbnail. Two days Thanks ago. For me sit in. Ain't nothing to it. It's the elevated hidey hole of double deckered lakeness. That's the that is it. That's the name of it. You made pho two days ago, but have been too lazy to eat it? Have you not eaten anything in the last two days? Go bad. <laughs> Somebody else said something, but we were talking about guitars. That I thought was interesting in response to the How are you how how y'all doing? Uh well, I gotta go back. Point of discussion. Union girl working on updating your will. You gonna put me in it? I don't... Should I have a will? I should probably have a will. <laughs> a will Riker. There's a will, there's a way. need to designate a caretaker. Oh, I see. So you're like, you've had a will. So you're like, updating it. Based on... Understood. you be too lazy to eat pho? Forgot to buy lemons and jalapenos. So it's limes. I mean, I don't know how everybody eats pho, but limes, jalapenos. I also need to boil the noodles. You don't need to boil the noodles. You just put the noodles in the bowl, and then you put the boiling pho on top of it. And then that's what cooks the noodles.
I mean, yeah, I, I suppose it depends. If you got, like, the uh, noodles, like the little wispy rice noodles, that should be it. What's the, what's the, is it basil? No, not basil. It's, uh, yeah, it's basil. Is it basil? The leaf you put in pho. Hi, basil. Yeah. That's, that's where the good flavors come from. Has a texture of sandpaper to me? You're sure you just weren't eating dirty basil? <laughs> this could have been an under ice ID hole right here. Which I think we've had one before at least. to eat the Thai basil? We don't eat western basil. <laughs> western basil. Wah, wah. Are you thinking of bay leaves? Because you eat... You eat basil. Yeah, you like... They give you the whole stalks of it and you just rip it off and spread it into the, the soup. Yeah, pizza has basil. Because when you put pizza on a basil, you can have pizza anytime. <laughs> no. They were thinking of bay leaves, it's fine. Yesterday, oh, I just made I made chicken jump jump jummies on the grill. I bought Thai basil to try to grow from seed. I'm very impatient <laughs> when it comes. It's like, I planted you three days ago. Why aren't you showing? 
crowds. Nice sleeping. Take damage. Well, that was my last bet. Ever. if your jump miss rate has gone up since the jitter increase. My miss rate? Like, miscalculate the jump? Can't, can't quite say that that is a metric I've been keeping track of. I think this version of the game had auto jump. some point you might have if you want to I don't know what time are you able Maybe done it in hmm yeah I mean, I'm about to wrap up a segment here. A nail painting intermission? Yeah. Only if you appreciate it. There, I can see. <laughs> it's it's a... nail painting. That was I forgot which sub goal that was, but we reached it and passed it.
Was it the 1600 goal? No, 1600 was 3D glasses mode, which we still have to do. Oh, oh, glitter. <laughs> I would wear these, these products she'll actually wear. Fourteen hundred. All right. Well, even better. True, yeah, need I remind you. I can go several days without rest <laughs> if necessary. You cannot. Need I remind you, I can go without rest for several days if necessary. Subs! Union Girl, thank you for the five sub bath bomb. Much appreciated. Building that timer up. Uh, but yeah, the if the charity goal gets reached, I will double whatever is on the timer at the time. It's all in the document. Tier 3 subs will get a sticker pack sent to them. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Thought I forgot something. Well, that's a shame. I think we've, I think we've all forgotten that this is a subathon. And a flabathon. Yeah, we're like dropping subs. Some gift subs are expiring. Floatathon. <laughs> uh, ooh. Adam78 gifted a tier 1 sub to Episig. They have given 26 gift subs in the channel. You're telling me I'm stuck here? With you? No. I'm stuck here with you. Believe me, a far worse fate. And Mac with a tier 2 sub for 90 months. Sub tub and a gift sub from Adam, the Eposig, much I appreciated. Days rest if necessary. And a hype train. You cannot. Boeing fan, thank you for the five sub bath bomb. Much appreciated. One shy of that 1700 mark. And love it's already a level four hype train and a gift sub from Mech. There we go, seventeen hundred. I know eighteen hundred is Minecraft bingo, and maybe people don't care about that, but nineteen hundred is the girlfriend hosts 
an entire segment of Far Lands or Busts. Doesn't play the game, but hosts. Subject to your questions and queries. <laughs> Weatherman, I care about bingo. We did start on the 28th. The subathon last month, so these gift subs are going to start expiring. You may experience the emptiness with me if you wish. We can always just... Thanks. Jamama, <laughs> thank you for the sub. Welcome to the tub. The sub tub. Much appreciated. Two minutes on the timer for that. Wolfie, just have a seat. Super, super bubble. $95 and something cents for the direct relief charity bringing us to 69 69 69 I think they did that on purpose oh. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I almost swallowed that nut <laughs> ZK knows. Nice. Triple nice. Did I put the torch out here? Yes. I can go several days without rest if necessary. Mac, another five. You cannot. Thank you very much. Aeep. Oh, that's a lot of lava down there. Oh, thank you very much for another five. Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're just going to have to do this every time. Let's go to sleep and back up the world. <laughs> oh, no! That's not supposed to happen. That was supposed to be fixed. That was supposed to be fixed. We might, we might have to modify... Our, our standard hidey holes. Could be bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be like a five by five and the bed's just like in the middle. That was uh, 60,381.14 megabytes. 